she has something called cranioencephaloma. Maybe she, the mom was in the tree and because of the storm this morning she got afraid or something or she just was, the tree was slippery or whatever and she fell. She has a nematoma in the eye. The pupils are not responding. Like you know, when you when you get a hit on your hand, they, you have all the skin, so the muscle can swollen and swollen and swollen. But when you hit your brain and the brain starts swollen and swollen and swollen, there's the skull. The skull is there, so the, the brain cannot swell, swell, like be swollen, so it just get pressed and pressed. The great news is that little Sonia has gone back to mom and they're both doing really well. We'll keep you updated on all of their, their progress on our social media feeds. The important thing I really want you to remember is that that clinic was there. When Andrea Pissarro and the staff needed it for little Sonia, that clinic was there and ready to go. It was well equipped and they could immediately help her out. You know, when you make a donation to one of the sanctuaries, the important thing to remember is you're not just helping the chimp or gorilla or orangutan that's there at that moment, but you're also helping those in the future. You're preparing them for a crisis that we know is going to come down the road. Just in the last few weeks alone, I know of eight apes that have ended up in sanctuaries across equatorial Africa, for example. They're going to need your help as well. And in the show notes below, I'll put links to not only Takagama, but to other organizations that are helping the sanctuary. So that if you wanna donate, you wanna volunteer, you can be there ahead of those crises. And remember, if you want to subscribe to Apes Like Us, you can do so by clicking right up there. Also, right down here in the corner, put a link to another piece we did on Takagama, what they're doing outside their sanctuary for conservation and helping protect chimps around Sierra Leone.